I'm Sarah Kate Gillingham. And I'm Dana Bowen. And we're the founders of The Dynamite Shop, an online cooking school that teaches kids and families fundamental kitchen skills. And we're going to show you how to make one of our most popular recipes, buttery drop biscuits. A fresh from the oven biscuit is a beautiful thing. And what's so special about this recipe is how simply it comes together. There's no kneading, rolling, or cutting out rounds. You just combine the flour, baking powder, and salt with really good cold butter and drop the batter in a pan to bake. And we like using Kerrygold's Irish grass-fed butter because of its higher butter fat content. Higher butter fat means less water, which means crispier, more flaky baked goods that rise higher. When we teach this lesson, it's all about the beauty of butter. So instead of serving with jam or honey, we double down and make a flavored compound butter to go with our warm biscuits. Let's show you how it's done. For the biscuits you'll need, one half cup of cold, unsalted butter, cubed, plus one tablespoon for greasing the pan. Look at that bright yellow color. That comes from all the beta carotene in the grass that the cows are munching on. You'll also need two cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, plus a pinch for the top, and three quarters to one cup of whole milk. Make sure to preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Grease a 10 inch cast iron skillet or round cake pan with a tablespoon of butter. Sift the dry ingredients together, then cut in the butter using a pastry cutter or two knives. If you still have big lumps of butter, quickly rub the butter into the flour with your fingertips. Add three quarters of a cup of milk and mix gently until a soft dough forms. If you need to add more milk, do so now. You can also do this in a food processor, but either way, be sure to work quickly so the butter doesn't soften too much. You want the butter to retain its form at this stage because when it melts in the oven, it will leave airy pockets that make these biscuits so light and fluffy. Drop the dough by large spoonfuls into the greased pan, nestling the biscuits close together. Sprinkle a pinch of salt across the top. We love using flaky Maldon salt, but you can also use regular table salt. These will bake for about 12 minutes. While they're baking, let's make some compound butter. For the compound butter you'll need one half cup, that's eight tablespoons, of salted butter at room temperature, plus one tablespoon of flavorings like dry spices, citrus zest, and chopped herbs. This is a super customizable recipe. We're going to use parsley and dill plus a little bit of lemon zest for a really bright and fresh flavor. But you could also use spices like cinnamon, maybe even a little maple syrup for a sweeter, warmer taste. And don't forget other types of citrus zest, like orange and lime. Wouldn't lime butter be great on corn? All you have to do here is mix up some softened butter with your add-ins. Make sure it's not too soft. We use salted butter because that little bit of salt shines a spotlight and intensifies the flavors of the other ingredients. Form the compound butter into a log and wrap it tightly with plastic wrap or parchment paper. We use parchment because it's so pretty, but you'll get a better seal with plastic. Pop it in the refrigerator and keep it on hand. We think this particular mix is delicious on spaghetti, baked potatoes, and yes, those biscuits. Speaking of biscuits, let's check in on them. See how the tops are a little bit brown? They're ready. These are best straight from the oven, but they will keep a few days in an airtight container or even frozen. But why would you want to do that? Wow, those biscuits are incredible. You can really taste the buttery flavor coming out and they have such an amazing texture. Yep, that is all about the butter and also not overworking the dough. I'm thinking of all the other things you could do with the compound butter. You could put it on spaghetti. 
You could spread it on a cracker. You could dip a radish in it. Toss it with potatoes. Mm. Thank you so much for cooking with us.